Hello everybody, Penny here from East Hearts Family Centre Service in Bishop Stortford, come to tell you another story. Now, I wonder if you can see who I've got here. I've got a ladybird and a grasshopper. And, oh, if I'm not mistaken, there's a spider here. And I can see ants. Oh my goodness, lots more spiders and a butterfly and dragonfly and a wasp and a fly. But you know, I can also see my school words. Hmm, bugs and school. I bet you didn't know that bugs go to school just like me and you. Would you like to find out about when the bugs go to school? But before we do that, let's say hello to everybody. Are you ready with those big waves? You might like to wave both hands and your both feet because lots of our bugs have got more than two legs, haven't they? So maybe you'd want to wiggle your fingers, your toes, your feet, your hands, just like some of those bugs. Are we ready? One, two, three. Hello everybody, it's Penny here. Today's story is the first day at Bug School by Sam Lloyd. Let's find out about when our bugs go to school. Oh, can you see? There's their school. Lots of different insects and bugs in their classrooms. They've got a playground as well. Let's find out about bug school. At the bottom of the garden, where no one really sees, a secret school is hidden amongst the grass and the weeds. Listen, can you hear it? A tiny school bell rings. I have to do that when you go down the bottom of the garden. Welcome, smiles Mrs. Bumblebee, to all you creepy, slimy things. It's your first day at Bud School, but don't be scared or shy. You'll have the best time ever. So wave Mummy and Daddy. Bye bye. So there they all are, waving bye bye. Some with two legs, some with four legs, some with six legs, some with a lot, lot more legs. It's time to take the register, Mrs. Bumblebee puts on her glasses. Then when that's done, it's time to come to take everyone to their classes. So there they all are, sitting down, having their names checked out. And I can see that Mrs. Bumblebee is looking at ant class, all the ants. In spider class, little Sid, learns to creep about. But Mr. Wincy warns him, don't go up a water spout. <gasps> now, why do you think that is? Do we know something about that? Yes, Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. And Mr. Incy Wincy is telling them, oh, human dangers, the water spout, the plug hole, and uh-oh, the vacuum cleaner. Sometimes we do accidentally vacuum up a spider. In music class, Chloe Cricket sings loudly through the day. She's learning a new song for the Bug School summer play. <gasps> there they are, singing away. There's Chloe. And they're playing their instruments, their drums. Look at them all, all the crickets. So if you listen, Carefully, sometimes in tall, long grass, you can hear the sound of the cricket. Ah, who are these? These are our ladybirds, aren't they? Lucy Ladybird is learning maths by counting her friend's spots. It's so very lucky that he's got lots and lots. Oh my goodness, yes he has. Lots and lots of spots to count. And do you know, on their wings, they have the same number of spots on each 
side. I can see on my ladybird here that she's got one, two, three, four, five spots on that wing. And if I look carefully, she's got one, two, three, four, five on the other. And maybe you could work out how many spots she's got all together. There they are, lots and lots of spots, lots of counting. Yummy, it's time for bug school lunch. The ants will help you with your tray and when it's all been eaten up, you can go outside to play. There they are. There's the ants, very, very busy, taking all the lunches. Ants are very busy bugs. They're always carrying very heavy things. There are things to climb on, things to slide on, things to squash and mend. And da little Daisy Dragonfly has made a brand new friend. Ah, oh, that's a buddy bench. Some schools have that. If you haven't got anybody to play with, you might like to go and sit there and somebody will come up and find you and you can make a new friend. Oh, there they are. Ladybirds are skipping. There's their teacher. There's the snails sliding down the leaves. Oh, they make good slides, don't they, for our bugs? And in the sand pit. In the toilet, Sylvester Stale is being oh so slow. Billy Beetle bangs on the door. Be quick, I need to go. That's it. But the one thing we know about snails, that they are very, very slow, aren't they? Fergus Fly mucks about, tickling stink bugs, Betty. Poo! <coughs> Let's get out of here. Bug toilets are so smelly. Oh, look. There we go. Busy washing hands. Freddy Flea is so excited, it's time to do PE. Hopping, skipping, jumping. Wow, it's the perfect class for me. Because fleas are very, very tiny, but they jump and jump and jump. Look at that. The jumping on the logs, skipping, jumping on big stones. That does look fun, doesn't it? Gosh, it's story time already about a super little slug. Hurry now, Kevin Caterpillar, and settle quietly on the rug. Here he comes. And listen, can you hear it? A tiny <coughs> school bell rings. It's time to say bye-bye to those clever little things. All the bugs at Bug School have had such lots of fun. Can we come again tomorrow? Shouts everyone. Look at that. I think they've enjoyed their day, don't you? And there they all are again. That big picture of bug school. Wow. So now we know what bugs do when they are at school. So maybe if you find some when you're out and about and having a little look, they might be on their way to school, mightn't they? You could perhaps have a look round. Go on a little bug hunt, see the ones that you can find. Maybe name them, and if you're not sure, draw a picture, take a photograph, and have a look and see if you can find out what they are when they get home. So, it's bye-bye from Penny, and bye-bye from all the bugs. Bye.